Okay, here we go. Uh, ping pong ball, electrical tape, high cost build, like uh, I always do, right? So I'm doing it be colder from scratch because that seems to be like a thing I can do and kind of like relatively popular uh, two months ago. But that's how it works. If it's two months ago it was popular, I'll totally do it now. Because I'm with the times that way. Uh, this is uh, aluminum wire from a plant, a fake plant that had lights in it. And I took it apart to get the lights out of it. And I kept the aluminum wire because I'm a pack rat. And so, yeah, so this aluminum wire, here's the deal. Aluminum wire uh, gets hot and stays hot. It's got a low heat capacity. Uh, there's some chemistry term for you. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I just did them all kind of sticking out of different directions out of the back end of this guy. And it looks chaotic and weird and kind of cool right now. And uh, so I pick out some beads to be eyeballs from a bead kit I got at a rummage sale who knows when that I bought for the tools that were with it and yeah da, 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 da. and so the beads aren't quite big enough to fit on there and some of them are too fiddly so I just said screw it but I used different shapes and sizes of beads because I didn't want them to all be the same I thought you know if, a behold, if each eye of beholder has different powers wouldn't they have a different shape anyway da, 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 da. So yeah, fiddling around beads takes forever. It's a booger. I have to hollow them out a little bit so they'll fit. Uh, and I use aluminum wire because of the nature of this project. The intended nature of this project was that uh, magnets would be involved. And I couldn't find my freaking magnets. I still have yet to find my magnets, even to this day, many days after this. So anyway, uh, if you're ever going to do this and wind up having to do what I'm doing with it because you can't find your magnets, don't worry about using aluminum wire. Use paper clips. So aluminum wire is really thick and heavy. Well, not heavy. It's really thick. It's not heavy. But it's hard to bend because it's so thin. It's so short. The sections are so short. And uh, the issue is, okay, so I knew I was going to use uh, hot glue on this, but it's got a low, the aluminum has a low heat capacity. So once it gets hot, it stays hot. And you really want uh, your hot glue to not be hot so it's solid. And this stuff just takes forever and it melts itself. Oh, Bulls Bizarre Bizarre Broken Bobbles. Like, share, subscribe. Share's the big one. Uh, anyway, yeah. So, okay. I'm just putting some, like, I guess fleshy bits or skin on these tentacles so they don't look like pieces of uh, wire. And they start, of course, melting all the way through the base thing that I put them on because I used the uh, hot glue to attach them to the ball. I kind of melted a hole in the ball and maybe not a hole like a divot. Anyway. Yeah. And so you have to hold them, but it's super hot so you gotta like be careful about it. And here in a little bit there's one that I just cannot get to stick so I just hold it with a pair of uh, Kelly clamps and let the uh, uh, glue cool off. And harden and then stick it back on. So this is a fiddly process that takes a little bit long. But I filmed this, I spent this uh, video up a uh, hundred times and then went back and went, man, it's still like 30 minutes long. So we did an additional like 300. Uh, we, I did an additional like 300 times the thousand times speed. So super, super fast. Okay, here's the one, yeah. And he kept falling off, so I just formed him outside of letting him cool and stuck him back on. And yeah. And I just, uh, the eye is just drawn in there with pen right now just to kind of keep me orientated to how I want his stuff to look. And so this is toothpicks that I use teeth because they're like spiky teeth because I don't imagine, I could be wrong, but in my head canon, beholders don't really eat much uh, physical food. They kind of devour psychic energy anyway so yeah toothpicks is teeth and I made them not line up I made them different lengths and all that stuff uh, just because of the way I wanted to look and so I just draw on like okay so I put a tongue on him and that's I guess I'm not doing it yet anyway so I'm just drawing like uh, rough patches and weird veins with uh, the glue gun on his flesh for texture. Oh, okay, so I did put a ton of them. So I just used a uh, floral wire and 
folded it over and filled in the gap with glue. And so here is cutting uh, using my high end uh, wire cutter uh, exclusive system. I uh, use this special gate here called a uh, steel ruler, and I just kind of cut them about the same size, roughly, because uh, this is supposed to be a ruin. So you know, yeah, yeah. And so I just kind of get them all there. Okay, you know, here, this is just a thing with rocks in it. From it's just gravel from my driveway, playing with whatever rock. And uh, this is a four-inch wooden base I had from whatever. You can use whatever. It doesn't matter. Use a CD, be a little bigger, but it doesn't matter. And I just uh, lay them out, kind of like mismatchy on purpose. Kind of look like it maybe one time was the spot and so i cut up some points to just cover the edges and whatnot to either show that i don't know it's like an informal edge is how i did this that's how i usually do the dioramas i'm not a big fan of a right here is where the laser cut through maybe this perfect whatever perfect section of uh whatever we're doing so i do a wall on this side because i still at this point i'm hopeful i'll find my magnets false hope it's fine so i would get a wall on one side and i was just gonna put like a little bit of rubble on the other and having like suspended in the magnetic uh whatever is in between oh here we go there's a cut to some bad painting and uh there's yeah okay i i i guess i edited it wrong surprise surprise because i uh, obviously not ready to paint here <clears throat> anyway so this is when i go i can't find these magnets i've looked forever and so i got okay so this is bamboo i got from a placemat from a thrift store it's super strong i like it it's got a good wood texture for the scale because bamboo is of course you know like a, a woody type so so it's kind of like a plant so anyway the outside is looks like bamboo i've never it doesn't look like wood at all in the scale but the inside is really striated and so i just jammed some bamboo skewers up in there which is just bamboo bamboo or whatever to give it some structural support without whatever and so i just made these boards and put a piece of cardboard from my random cardboard junk pile to make it more supported <clears throat> and just uh there we go da -da -da. there's some crazy old lady in the background being annoying Knowing I'm working on stuff still feels like she needs to annoy me. It's whatever. Uh, anyhow. Da -da 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 -da. And so I ran short on bricks, so I'm just like texturing one at a time by hand. And uh, making a roof, which is like another layer of this whatever. It's not like the outside world's on the other side of that. It's like uh, another uh, section of catacomb above this tunnel or whatever. Because, uh, yeah. This was a, uh, so this was, yeah, I gave up on my magnets and I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to use string. And I tried to use them, my invisible thread from being a, a practitioner of illusion. I used to do magic tricks, uh, you know, like before I died and uh, still had it, but it wasn't strong enough because it ages, that stuff ages out and gets old and brittle and yeah. So anyway, da -da 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 -da. And so there he is kind of like shaped up and here we go okay this is just the old old uh pva glue water and black paint base that we just do all of it with the whole thing cover it all uh and i just use black paint because uh it shows me what i've already painted it ensures the coverage because you're like oh that's not black it doesn't have paint on it and uh here we go so I always use this bit or one of these bits because I'm going to paint and I do a crappy job of filming that because it's my non-dominant retarded gimpy hand. Anyway, yeah. Uh, my left hand sucks. It's just the way it is. So here it is after it's painted. It's spray painted. I spray painted the uh, beholder too. And so this is just picking out bricks with different colors because I don't. I wanted it to like show the difference. Or whatever you want to call it uh, yeah what is the yeah variation and so it looks really super like 
80s cafeteria here in a minute. Because I just randomly picked out these colors and was like, okay, that's super bright. That'll show through. That's super bright. That'll show through. That'll give me some sort of subtle variance. And it really doesn't because I go too crazy with the paint here in a little bit. <laughs> I think, like, if this is layer two because the primer's a paint layer, then on layer four, I just all over it which is kind of what i always do i do all this uh, setup work and then it doesn't work out because i screw it up and i'll do paint anyway da -da -da. oh okay this is picking out colors for the uh uh beholder which i went with uh, pride colors because i couldn't think of any colors so you know whatever uh six tentacles or ten tentacles six uh colors so red for the tongue red for a tentacle green for an eye green for a tentacle and the rest of them each get two colors and uh yeah i just couldn't think of a uh, color scheme that i really wanted to do and, you know it's pride month so screw it or don't screw it it's totally up to you it's all about personal choice and freedom See, right now, it looks kind of interesting with the multicolors. It's a little not subdued enough, but it's still, you know, it's pretty good. And here in a minute, I will screw it up with the next uh, dry brush because I tend to over brush the dry brush. Yeah, see? Oh, look, look, they're pretty much white. Oh, look, look, totally white. Not really white, but it's a dark gray or a light gray. And, yeah. <sighs> So, yeah, so painting this guy, he's not a stand. That's kind of the whole point is to not have him on a stand or held up by his tongue or any of that stuff is typical. I'm still hopeful at this point in the video that I will find those magnets, which I haven't yet to find. I just have to order more. Kind of been putting off using magnets for all types of things. And, like, I'll use those for something really interesting, and then the interesting comes up, and I don't know where I put them. I've lost them. They probably got thrown away. Like, realistically, the last time I cleaned up, is, I clean up my little workstation probably every three weeks or whatever. Uh, I probably just knocked them out of the trash on accident. Anyway, so, okay, we're going to do white for his eyes and his teeth and his little uh, extra eyes from his stalks. And like a blue mouth like his lips are blue light weird blue because i want him to be kind of creepy but not like creepy scary like just unnatural and so this is just making a green brown wash so they really green wash with little hints of brown so it's not overly bright and in some places it's more green than others because i didn't do a good job of cleaning this up but i want to tell you that I want to tell you that's on purpose, but it's just because I, I suck at this. I, yeah, I'm not good at anything. It's just the way it is. Yeah, so this is just a flesh tone. A uh, craft paint that I just went over. The, yeah. Of course, we're just kind of true squigglies all over. For his body. Okay, so this is just painting the sides. Paint one side and let it sit for a little bit. I use the dry box at some point, but I don't think I built it. I think I just shut it off. And, yeah, okay, dry box, blah, blah, blah. No, and I painted him with this black that I use for everything. And just kind of water it down or whatever so he's not like super bright. He doesn't have super bright pride colors. He's just got dingy kind of growth colors, but they're originally pride colors. I don't know. Oh, I would. So I just use a water down brown paint over the black painted wood to make it look more like wood again and here we go this is just uh floral moss that's been through a grinder i use my uh i use a coffee grinder i bought just for this i bought it at a thrift store it was junk didn't grind coffee anymore grinds up stuff for terrain wonderfully and so this is uh floral moss acting as moss but ground up for a different scale and i used it and i put it almost every crevice in here and yeah still I have yet to find those magnets uh, in the video I'm not, here's the I'll give away the ending I never find the magnets I haven't found the magnets yet today they are gone forever I've lost them I'll have to spend another 
20 bucks on magnets or whatever. Sucks. I went through everything. I went through my magic kits for my magic magnets. I couldn't find any. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I tried all this stuff and none of it worked. And so I just went with this heavy black thread because I thought, oh, I'll hide it later. And then I could come up with, I, I don't know. I, my spider webs didn't work out and whatnot. So this is just where it is right now. It's not a finished product, but it's as finished as it's going to get probably this iteration. However, when I buy some magnets, I'll uh, do another magnet guy or do another beholder and try to hold it with magnets or, you know, something like that. Although I think maybe like a really simple one would be like a it's levitated by magnets, but chained to the floor kind of thing. It'd be kind of interesting. Anyway. So, yeah. Tie strings all over, and this is fiddly, and uh, so I used the clear nail polish to give him some jewels on his tongue and kind of like jewels on his back end, because I don't really know what the back end of a beholder looked like. I don't know. It just kind of looked like, to make it look like a black hole and see you can see the threads everywhere. Uh, but he's not hanging on a single thread, he's hanging on four, three from the top and one from the bottom. And it kind of gives him this weird jiggliness. Uh, anyway. So that's a, you know, homemade from scratch, every bit, except for, of course, the circle on the base. I didn't make that. I bought Uh, anyway. Yeah. So there he is. I'm gonna put a piece of paper behind him here so I got to show, see. Oh, wow, you can really see those threads, right? Anyway, uh, thanks for coming. Like, subscribe, share. Share's the big one. Later, guys.